everyone welcome back to my channel Gemini on a mission I'm Sakshi Pandit and today's session and discussion is powered by hashtag punch self doubt that aims to inspire the youth to crush that fear and to learn the art of balancing approaching and collaborating today's lively chit chat was with the team of it's normal and let's hear and see what the young mind has to tell you well don't forget to like share and subscribe I I also guess that Nikki must have introduced you all and told something about me but let me just introduce you all uh, officially and formally so I am Sakshi Pandit and I am a mass media graduate I completed my out uh, of my bachelor's from Thakur College of Science and Commerce that's in Kandahar and i am uh, affiliated with road tract and road tree uh, these are the service based organizations and uh, the list goes on so therefore i will just stick to these two things and uh, the purpose of uh, inviting you all for a discussion is that i have opened a platform for the youth and the name is hashtag punch self doubt and it believes in empowering the youth you know inspiring the youth uh giving the ones who are filled with talent and potential helping and linking the bridge with the ones who do not have uh much resources i mean we are very fortunate to have these technologies and uh, a proper education and all but there are so many of them who um, are struggling for all these um, you know these resources and therefore i'm trying to bridge the link of us with the ones who are still trying to find out a way so i came across your um, a very power packed initiative which is it's normal and uh, very glad to see you all doing such an amazing work i keep watching your reels and i'm i'm really good to see these new ideas popping up from your end so with the same let us uh, begin with uh, your introduction i just want to just about you all you know what you guys are doing or what is your aim as an individual and then we'll jump on to its normal so nakshatra would you like to go ahead yeah um hi my name is nakshatra you already know me but uh, <laughs> i'm yeah i'm doing bath right now and um, i don't have a name right now but um, i think that what i want to do ahead is a lot of social work because you've seen me nowadays how i get and um, i really want to get into something about caring for animals basically yeah that's that's lovely for next oh uh, yeah hi hi my name is ali azhar you know i'm in bath with nakshatra uh, so i i have no idea why i'm i'm in bath right i want to have a creative background but like for the heck of it i'm just doing the degree but i want my career to be uh, i i want to have a creative approach basically in life so yeah that's it and that's that don't worry about it a lot of people you know um ideologically they join a course and then later they understand oh my god it's not for you all yeah. but don't worry i think doors open up and there are so many opportunities ahead waiting for you all waiting for all of us so that's totally fine enjoy your bap course also because um somewhere somewhere down the line the things that you will learn in your bap course can help you in further also with the creative mind so for sure that who's going next guys ruby would you like to introduce you yourself hello hello yeah yeah sorry i <laughs> my mic was mute yeah mm-hmm. and ruby darji i i have also joined baf and i like singing like i have created my account too in lockdown i created my account of uh, singing my name is abidi i am doing baf uh, like i completed my uh, junior college from kc itself and in future i have to pursue mba and uh, like even i in future i have to do something for animals especially for dogs and yeah that's it okay that, that's so good to see you guys come up for animal welfare oh uh, all right so seems like you guys are very confused with the course 
I'm not here to give you all gyan on that, but just a suggestion. Wherever you all are, that's totally fine. Um, it's it's good to be confused about something, but I think down the line, when you start exploring, uh, introducing yourself, uh, discovering a lot of people, and meeting and networking of all these things, these huge huge terms that you come across, uh, that will help you to you know create your own path. So that's totally fine. Uh, it's good to have a creative mind also. which you guys are doing i think it's normally full of creativity and enthusiasm and um, so i would like to thank nakshatra for introducing me to you all of you wonderful uh, people out there so i want to understand um, so like i told about i think abidi wasn't there when i was introducing hashtag fun yeah right? yeah yeah so i just yeah. give you a gist of what exactly this is so basically when i won a pageant title of miss india brainy beauty in 2019 um that gave me a platform to kick start my dream initiative that is hashtag punch served out so um i think nikki was you know nikki uh, was like i uh, since her sister is my best friend and we have been studying together uh, my transformation journey has been very drastic from my school days um if you must have seen a lot of youth nowadays are very excited um, they have a huge gang and they keep partying you know a lot of things they're happy I was totally opposite to that, um, and now that I am, I think the transformation helped me understand that there are so many youth here who wish to do a lot, but are either confused because they think you know the outside world will already put them down, and they have a lot of self doubt within them, and I also have that, and therefore I thought that why not create a platform for the youth to help them understand that there is light at the end of the tunnel. So therefore, I started hashtag Pantel now that aims to inspire the youth to help them um, in a way rise and shine. Uh, you know, finding their own path. So I don't let them know what is right or wrong, but I just try to connect the youth with the other youth. So I've taken sessions for tenth grade, eleventh grade, especially B and C schools because they are the ones uh, who are a little limited with resources, and we as youth who have so many things. can help them at least you know by sharing our potential so that what that's what we believe in uh, that uh, the ones who are limited with resources i think we can help them uh, bridging uh, while bridging this gap so um i came across your platform uh, through nakshatra and i really loved it it's not about whether it's good or bad it's so good to see you all doing something out of the box and uh, i'm definitely here to help you guys Uh, by providing a platform to share this uh, initiative of yours a power card initiative of yours with the rest of the world and with the network that i have so the very first question is that um how did you all come across it's normal like what made you all um, choose this idea Uh, all right so basically is this is a part of a college project right but we think it's more than a college project like we were given a set of topics uh, by our teacher and like we had to discuss amongst ourselves select two topics then then mam would assign one topic so basically why we selected this topic is because there's not enough light uh, shed on this topic especially in india like still people in this gen this is a 21st century still people are like not normalizing male talent we cannot If, for example, if I clear twelfth, and I, I ask my parents that no, I want to pursue a makeup artist as a career option, they will be like, "क्या क्या कर रहे हो तुम? तू इससे जा CA कर लो." So they will be like, yeah, "Still, it's not normal, yeah, because our parents. It's not the parents' fault, fault also, because they are parents told them that as well. So like if uh, like males, especially boys, like if I want to become a makeup artist, what society will think?" what the relatives will think or we we think about the society so much that we don't embrace our talents so our the main uh, aim of our page is to normalize male talent and and, and basically yeah. what what exactly is your aim like you know is it just um, if i if i understand from his uh, answer is it just like introducing a male gender towards new fields and letting them know that that's normal to choose or is it just you know bringing everyone on a base understanding with a perspective that you know what that's to be fine like for anyone for girls guys and all so is it just for the guys or uh, what you love that or is it for like everyone as a whole 
uh, society to just look at a perspective which you guys are planning um it's basically for the whole society to look at because i think most of us including guys including girls everybody is just stuck to the fact that are maine aisa kiya to log kya kahenge you know mm-hmm. that uh the fact that what will someone else talk if i do this nobody should have that thought in mind so uh, we just want to remove that thought from not only guys but from girls from every human that there is nobody should feel that everybody has their own uh talent their own perspective about things and they should not be afraid to put it out so that's so rightly said that everyone has the potential and just because of the society we try to mark ourselves down and shift ourselves i think um, this is very similar to a thinking about our fields also right is because what society thinks uh, if a if a person is very good in their education they'll put them in science they put them in commerce they put them in arts that's a, that is what we all are facing and this was a struggle even for me um, the, so abhiti i would like to also uh, take your views on you know like where do you see it's normal proceeding ahead like i see a lot of reels and uh, the page is really really exciting to see uh, it's very well kept and managed so hats off to you guys for maintaining the social media page really well so where do you all see it's normal proceeding ahead is it just with the reels of the posts or where do you all aim uh, it to you know um this expand in which area do you guys want to expand that okay so like i think if you have talent or something like uh you should freely do it like and not think about that others what others will think what the society will think and even like uh females girls they have also, they should also accept like yeah even males can do what we do like that yeah okay and uh, okay so let's talk about it's normal what exactly is the project about what what exactly is your assignments about it's about like uh whatever women can do if male uh, they have the talent of doing some work which women do like it's normal na they have that talent so they can present it it's more about that if anyone okay. can give in detail nakshatra yeah, <laughs> yeah so uh, yeah Uh, you can go ahead ali you both can speak one at a time but <laughs> yeah so like basically this is not just a project I, i again it's not for marks like hum log ke indian society mein kya hota hai basically hum log agar ladke log jab hi bolte hai na are i want to pursue makeup i want to i want to pursue dancing so basically there is a stereotype in the society ki are tum log ladke ho tum kyu kar rahe ho ye tum ca karo ya tum engineering mein jao ya aur kis mein jao so our basic motive is to break this stereotype in the society at least because like uh agar main ca bhi ban gaya and if i had another talent and if i could embrace it i would be more happier in life na matlab aisa nahi hai ki zaruri nahi hai ki hum log ko ek hi cheez pe stuck rahenge and we follow the herd mentality are sab ca kare hum ca karte hain sab engineering kare hum engineering kar rahe aisa nahi hona chahiye so basically uh, hum log ka kya hai like all of us some all of us like uh, are focus on one thing but if i focused but like we want to embrace ourselves huh? as a personality like no i am pretty sure none of us want to work all our life like i know 9 to 5 job like bas baithe baithe was like a machine and just is making money nothing else so yeah so like our topic basically is ke it's normal like abhi 21st century hai ye abhi aisa nahi hai ke sabko ca hi karna hai sabko engineering karna hai if you have a talent you have to embrace it and if uh, and uske liye we have to break the stereotypes like our parents ko samjhaye hum hamare parents ko samjhate hai ki like uh, agar main makeup artist banna chahta hu to it's fine if i if I, one of a, i know one of my cousins he's a maker uh, he's like in ballet dancer so like his parents were also like are tu kyu kar raha hai ye like isme koi scope nahi hai future nahi hai to scope kya future to kisi bhi cheez mein nahi hai na like hum log agar try karenge if we if we work hard if we persevere it so obviously we'll get the results wo to kisi mein bhi koi bhi field ho usme so yeah so it's not like only girls can cook only girls can dance abhi cooking to hum log sab ne lockdown mein bhi se seekh liya hai so that wo barrier to pura hati gaya hai wo yeah Oh wow! This actually brings me across those two points that I would like to uh, put across. One was like you said, uh, no one wants to work nine to five, and that is so true. Even I believe in that. I 
I never imagined myself working under someone, you know, fulfilling their dreams because I believe that the investment that we're making, um, the talents that we are embracing, like you said, uh, rightly said, and that we're polishing, it's for our future, for for you know, make leaving a mark and not um, utilizing for building someone else's empire. The second point that you said, you know, there's no scope and anything, and that is so true because. There's no guarantee we go, you know, we finish pursuing our MBA from some uh, good uh, esteemed institute and we get a job there. There's no guarantee nowadays because the situation is totally different. Can I just add something? Yes, please. Yeah, so uh, my message to whoever is watching this video, doesn't matter who you are, just follow your dream. Please follow your dream. We see what issues in India in today's time. Like people don't get jobs, people... Uh, as po poverty has, ye hai, wo hai. so like if you have a talent, please embrace it. As any case, uh, parents will say, Don't do it. Parents will also understand. If you understand the parents, they will also believe you. They will also encourage you. So like don't have a herd mentality. My friend is doing this, I have to do this. My cousin has done this, I have to do this. Have a, if you have a talent, embrace it. Because you can become CA and have lakhs of rupees. Come on. But your talent is there, you have to do it. Uh, you have to do it. 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 So yeah, that's our message basically that just embrace your talent. Doesn't matter who you are. Thank you. That's really nice of you, Ali. Uh, Aditi Nakshatra Dhruvi, would you all like to say anything? Aditi and Archie, you all are also there. Can I add something? Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. So adding to Ali's point, so what happens in, in some cases now, they're like, the boys or men, whoever they are, like they have talent, they are ready to accept it, embrace it and all. But the thing is that their parents don't allow them. This is like, in most of the cases, I have seen this. So like, don't be rude to them. Try to convince your parents or like uh, show them what your talent is, uh, how can it help you in your future and all. And I'm damn sure one day they will like let you do what you want. That's it. Yeah, so what I was trying to say is that um, basically none of us should be afraid of putting out our ideas or be afraid of somebody else letting putting us down because see, nobody is living our life except of us, right? So we should do it for ourselves if nobody else. More to more it can go for living our lives for our parents, our family. There is no third person whom we are living it for. So everybody just has to do one thing and not be afraid of anything out there because God has given us this world and I'm sure that God would not tell us or give us anything that we couldn't handle. Well, um, thank you so much to each and everyone uh, who were present here and the ones who couldn't join us but are still here in the room. Uh, so that gives us a very far back. Um, message to you know take away and to learn from that don't uh, hesitate to put across um, your talents don't hesitate to you know discover your potential that is hidden within and uh, rightly said by each one of you here that when uh, you want to you want to support and the backbone is your family try to explain them because being rebellious and being rude is not going to take you anywhere but explaining them what exactly your vision is and what you want to pursue and you want to you know, show them. Um, I'm sure this will, um, they will understand because obviously they are your parents. In some cases, um, things might go opposite the way you plan, but I think that's not the end. And um, it's normal. Uh, yes, it definitely is. And it's going to reach good heights. Uh, do, they do try to execute those ideas and try tying up and collaborating because there's too much out there uh, to still discover and explore with this platform and to reach out. So thank you so much 